how often is that that things don't fit? Um, most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> most of us have way too much stuff. Yeah, yeah. 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 Hey, welcome back everybody. We're really excited to uh, be chatting today with Sarah Solomon from uh, Moving, Moving Simply, Simply on this week's edition of Stay Focused. Well, thanks for being with us here today. It's really kind of fun to talk to you about what you're doing in your business, Simply Moving. Um, and it's got a couple different um, aspects to it, so you'll see two versions here. So really talking today first about um, unpacking, mm -hmm. right? So. Yeah, so basically, you know, once you've uh, bought the house and you are having the movers come and move everything in, then once you have all this pile of boxes, what do you do? What do, you do <laughs> so, where do you put everything? Right, where yeah. do you put everything? And, you know, you kind of, once you get through a couple and you get that motivation going, don't run out of steam. And Excellent. Isn't Excellent. there some unwritten rule that you have a year to get everything set up? Well, <laughs> I think it's a year to give a gift. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's hopefully you get everything in within you know a week or two, and you know get everything unpacked and set up, and you know even get curtains hung or stuff on the walls. Yeah. You really work up. closely with yeah the, the homeowner then. Yeah. yeah. Finding out what they want right. and how, what might work for them. Right. And, you know, a lot of people, when they move, sometimes they'll try to set up their new house the way they had it in their old house. And that may not be the most efficient way. You know, it might just be what they're used to. So, About how long do you usually spend with your clients when you're helping them unpack a you typical know, house? Um, you know, it could be two days. It could be two weeks, something okay. like that. Well, so, yeah, I like to really get every box unpacked and really kind of... Put everything in a room and figure out you know what can fit and once you have everything really out and available then you can kind of see well this is way too much stuff and this will never fit in this room and so you know and once you kind of put the essentials in then you can kind of see from there well clearly you know instead of telling people you need to get rid of things they can kind of see like well this is maybe not going to fit ideally yeah so. how often is that that things don't fit most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> Most of us have way too much stuff. Yeah. I can't help thinking it would be really nice to be involved with you a little bit sooner in the process mm -hmm. when you're moving, right? right? So you're not packing up a bunch of stuff that's not going to fit into your right. next house. Exactly. Of course, you don't always have that luxury, but do you often do that with people as well? Like help them par down for their sale and mm -hmm. then also help them unpack and when they, when they move into their new place? Right, exactly. Yeah. So if helps if you have me come in and kind of get you set up for, um, you know, for the listing process and kind of figure out. And what we'll be talking about more of that yeah. in our next yeah, series. Yeah. Great. Great. And where can they find you? Um, well, my website is movingsimply.com um, or you can email me at sarah at movingsimply.com. You know, I can do a consult and then, uh, you know, assess and, you know, come in for anything from a day to a week. and. Hopefully it'll turn into a month and, you know, yep. help people just get through everything in their house. Excellent. Excellent. Awesome. Well, thanks, Sarah, for yeah, joining thanks us. We so really much. appreciate it. Yeah. yeah. And we look forward to chatting with you in our next series a little bit more about helping sellers. Helping sellers <laughs> yeah. and staging. So uh, thanks for joining us, everybody. Don't forget to like us on Facebook. Subscribe, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And until next time, stay, stay tuned and stay focused.